So recently you've seen us talk a lot about tuner friendly family SUVs. We did the pair of Skoda Yetis very recently, the stock and the stage 3 car. But those are very heavy on your pocket because they're European. So what if you want something similar to that but not as heavy on your pocket? This seems to be a great shout. This over here is a stage 2 Ford EcoSport Titanium S and I'm going to tell you all about this amazing car today. So let's cut the crap and talk directly about what you want to know about. This over here is the 1.5 litre 4 cylinder diesel turbo engine from Ford and this thing is pretty impressive out of the box. It used to make around 100 bhp but now with all of the mods that are done which is the KNN air filter, the downpipe, the straight pipe exhaust, the hard EGR delete and probably one of the best tunes that you can get for the Ford EcoSport that is the Wolf Motor Performance Stage 2 aggressive map. This thing produces some really impressive numbers. It produces almost 134 bhp which is dyno confirmed and more or less around 300 Nm of torque. Now according to the owner, the most powerful EcoSport in India currently makes 141 bhp. So this is probably the second most powerful uh, Ford EcoSport in India and it is quite the torque monster and it makes a pretty decent sound for a diesel engine. Check it out. Okay, so before we go any further, let me quickly explain the world of EcoSports to you guys. This unfortunately might not be the second most powerful EcoSport in India. Wolf Performance has developed a new tune which in stage 1 guys can push the EcoSport up to almost 135 bhp which is almost the same amount if not a little more than this stage 2 car. Yes, this is a dyno confirmed figure for the stage 2 car as well as the stage 1 car I was just mentioning but two different cars on two different dynos cannot be compared. So who is still who in the EcoSport world is still a little vague. Nonetheless, the takeaway from this is that if you have an EcoSport diesel, Wolf Performance is the tuner for this car. So first of all, a lot of you guys have been commenting that we start doing more videos on Ford vehicles, especially the tuner-friendly 1.5-litre diesel engine found in the Figo. Now, unfortunately, this is not a tuned Figo, but it's something very close. It's a 1.5-litre tuned EcoSport and probably with one of the best tunes by Wolf Moto and they're one of the best people to tune a Ford EcoSport. So I'm just going to take a left turn over here and then stomp on the gas to see how this thing is to drive. 134 bhp and over 300, 300 newton meters of torque and this thing makes a pretty decent noise and it's super fun to drive and weirdly it doesn't feel like a very diesel engine the way it revs the way it makes its noise and all of that stuff it's very petrol-esque if you know what i mean and the throttle response is super nice it's very quick to understand what's going on i just love the way this engine feels and how it's been tuned a big hats off to wolf motor for developing such an amazing tune if i'm not wrong they've tuned over 300 ford eco sports since they've come out with a tune for it and that's super impressive definitely one of the best tuners for this particular engine now Ford makes some amazing driver's cars like they've proved over the years with cars like the Fiesta S, cars like the Ford Figo and this thing is probably one of the best handling compact SUV crossover thingies that you can ever buy. The steering is very direct, you can feel a lot from the steering, the feedback is great, you have a nice little 5-speed manual transmission and moreover even if this is a stage 2 tuned Ford EcoSport, this thing does pretty good when it comes to fuel. Now this is a diesel engine and the owner says in bumper to bumper traffic in Mumbai in Ville Parle he gets around 11 kmpl in bumper to bumper traffic and when it comes to highway once you start cruising this thing also has cruise control this thing can do almost 25 kilometers to the liter which is very impressive for a stage 2 tuned Ford EcoSport moreover this isn't a very comfortable uh, crossover SUV in that sense Yes, it is a little bit on the stiffer side, but that is because it's such a good handling vehicle. The brakes are upgraded to Brembo brake pads and you have some upsized tyres as well which give you that extra little grip. And this thing feels like a hatchback more than a crossover SUV. The way it handles, the way it goes down the road feels like a little hatchback. 
rather than a crossover SUV and it's very intuitive and very engaging to drive. I have this big white smile on my face because of the way it drives and once you start pushing it, it makes a nice noise and yeah, it is pretty powerful. Now the only limitation for this thing is that you cannot go stage 3. There is no bolt-on turbo for this thing for it to go stage 3. No big turbo, nothing like that. No OEM uh, big turbo available for this thing. So that is the only downside for this car. But I'm pretty happy with stage 2 as well. Yeah, this is a fun little crossover SUV. Yup, this EcoSport absolutely rips, but that's not with some sort of uncomfortable uh, interior or anything like that. This is a very modern interior. This is a 2018 model and this is the Titanium S. So it's the top most model. So you get all of the kit that you could ever ask for. You get this amazing infotainment system, which is very, very intuitive to use. You have your shortcut buttons here, your volume button, and genuinely it is one of the best systems I've seen in a car like this. Then you have your instrument cluster in front of you which has two analog dials and a little digital screen in the middle which gives you tons of information and has some cool little animations you have your five-speed gearbox right over here traction control system air control uh, systems and everything over here and overall is just a very very nice interior I love the steering wheel I love the way it looks I love the seats and you get a sunroof as well and the best part about the EcoSport is that you don't have to compromise your family to get a fun little tuner car because in the back over here, it's very spacious, very comfortable. I love the seating position and yeah, I can see myself doing very long journeys in this without any hesitation. And the good things about the EcoSport don't stop there because I think so, this is a fantastic looking vehicle. It looks like a proper little compact SUV. Moreover, this is the Titanium S model and you get these amazing looking 17 inch rims. And I've seen these uh, rims on a couple of Ford Figos and yeah, they just look absolutely amazing. Move over to the back, the owner has fitted a dual exit exhaust system and it looks good, it sounds good. And yeah, it's just a very clean looking vehicle. He's put some uh, aggressive sticker marks over here in the front. And yeah, I just really like the way this vehicle looks. He's done a couple of more mods on the exterior. For example, he's gotten uh, upgraded tires and Brembo brake pads. And overall, it's a very nice looking vehicle. Now, considering that you can buy a similarly spec 2018 Ford EcoSport diesel for anywhere between 7 to 10 lakh rupees, depending on the variant and the spec and all of that stuff, this is a very nice tuner friendly family vehicle. Now, the owner has spent anywhere between 1 to 1.5 lakhs uh, on all of the mods, which is a very fair price. And considering the power bump that the car has gotten, I don't think that there is something as versatile as the Ford EcoSport because it's fun to drive, uh, it's very involving to drive, and moreover, it's a diesel. So the the fuel economy numbers still stay relatively economical so overall a very interesting and a very nice little uh, family uh, crossover if you want to go tuning as well so thank you so much for watching this video uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this ford eco sport stage 2 uh, subscribe to the channel uh, like this video share it with your friends if you've liked it and do check out our new channel called tdh motorsport where we're going to be talking about everything related to motorsport which is formula one lamar wrc MotoGP, etc etc so do subscribe to that channel as well